Hello and welcome back to a new skin video for Assetto Corsa. I want to explain from how to actually take the AO to how to make it in 3D um, and a skin. So for now we're gonna explain how to use it on Photoshop. So first of all you're gonna need um, the TDS plugin for Photoshop. Um, you can use the old, but I think now it's the new one, so I don't know if it exists the old one. I'm gonna use the old one, but it's kind of the same. Um, Photoshop. And you're gonna need this launcher, Content Manager. You can download it. I'm gonna try to leave the links of all of that in the description. So we're gonna start with how to start with a skin. So, um, I want to explain that these skins, they can be made in two ways. First, you can make a metal detail, and then with the AO that I'm gonna explain later, you can actually put these stickers on there. So, first thing you need to do is enter in, a, in the CM showroom, that we're gonna do it here. You can do it in just clicking on the CM showroom or just empty bus, whatever. The one is more comfortable to you. So, we have here the car, okay? So, um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to click a one part of the body. This one, for example. So, when you have when you have it click it, um, you're gonna have some textures that the car has. As the car has diffuse, normal, maps, detail, damage, does damage mask. Some mods they don't have the damage ones. It's not um, like um, some people they don't use it because it's not like useful or they just don't put it. Don't worry. If it doesn't have it, don't worry. So what we need is the skin 00. Also, that name can be changed on every Kunas car and every mod car. So you just need to try to have the same name when you save. This one is skin 00.dds. And then you can use the metal detail. So I'm gonna try to explain first only the, the skin 00.dds and then I'm gonna try with the metal detail. On this one it's just a GT3 car, so if you want you can do it in in the AO, but it's it can be useful also with that um, detail and the AO. But first of all we're gonna use the skin the diffuse. So before I explain how to render a new AO, um, I just need to let you know that you can find also some skin templates for the Kunos cars only. If it's a mod or the creator of the mod needs to give a folder with the templates or you just need to wait if for some if just releases with the templates of the skin. So um, you can find um, the skin templates on Assetto Corsa SDK Dev skin templates and here you're gonna find the skin templates that Assetto Corsa gives to you they are in TDS some of them they are actually PSD to work on it so for example we're gonna try to search our Nissan GTR that I think will be beep, beep, beep. Uh, Nissan GTR GT3. So here is what it gives to you as the Corsa. It gives the rim, the rim blur, and the skin 00. It could be in 2K or 4K. So there you can find the actual template for the skin if you don't want to create a new one. So let's continue with the actual video. What you need to do is click in these three dots here, and then you're gonna have this, okay? This is the AO. This is the UV map, we can say that, of the car. So, um, what you need to do is just, you can export it or if you want and another resolution, you can click on calculate AU. Also, if you want all of this stuff, um, you need to click, if I remember, um, yeah, you need to click calculate AU sub options. See, if you only have this, you need to click on just show options, okay? So we're gonna have fully transparent, whatever. So now for me, I'm gonna. You can um, 
we have some recommendations for these skins, okay? If it's for the competition, um, you can use 2K, okay? 2K is the base of a skin. It's just the base and it's useful because it looks good and it's, it's very good for racing skins. But if you want to do tree balls or drift skins or something that it has a lot of details, you can use um, 4K. But 4K is also useful for some racing skins if you don't want to see the pixels. But that's not the important reason for this for the pixels. Later I'm gonna explain why some skins they have pixels and why some skins they don't have. It's just a simple thing, but I'm gonna explain it later. So I'm just calculate yo calculate um map of custom size, we're gonna do it 4K, whatever. And we're gonna wait. Okay, so when we have it rendered, you're gonna have this. This is your 4K AO, okay? You can see your generated one and the original one, okay? If you want to take a look of how it looks, etc. So what we're gonna do is just click on here in save and just go to skins and, and we're gonna create a new folder, whatever. It's, it's just for this, so I'm just gonna call it, okay? And you click here and you save it with this name don't change the name because it's gonna be your actual skin so okay so we click here and just we just get out you can have the mapping if you see that the uv of this card is kind of it's kind of complicated but we can talk about how to do it in 3d in another video for now we're gonna stay in 2d so now you have your actual skin so first of all dis disable this for now uh, and we go to skin video and you have this. This is um, the actual color of the AO, okay? So what we're gonna do now is do one thing. Activate the skin editing mode because you also need to have um, enabled the magic point net plugin that it's in CM, so don't worry, you can activate it. Um, on, I think it's options, content manager, plugins. So. When you have it enabled, it, you just click in the skin editing mode. To use that, you need to have um, save it with PSD, not DDS. DDS is the format that you're gonna use to have it permanently. But for editing the skin, you're gonna use PSD. So for now, we're gonna stay in PSD. So now that we have this, we're just gonna do this. And one thing that you can use to go to your skin folder, you just have this right click folder. So what we're going to do now is we have here you, our actual folder. So now you need to open your Photoshop. Yeah, to just open your Photoshop. You go to skin video and you open it. You just drag it here. Okay. And it's going to appear um, the DDS plugin for NVIDIA, so not using default size, just click yes. And now we have this. Okay, now it comes the important part for this. Okay, this is the important thing to do. So when you have this here, what you need to do is you have this, like this dot here, just disable it. And now, sorry if it's in Spanish, but it just we can, I, I can translate it. So now in the UVAO, you need to click here in normal and you click it multiply. Okay. And now you create a layer down the AO. So now here we're just going to take a random color like this or hmm, let me just put the blue here. Wow. Incredible. And you just take this and you click it. This is how it needs to look, okay? You can do this via metal detail. It's nothing, it's nothing difficult to do it. Like, you just need to only have this, only the white, and then on the metal detail, you need to have the color that you want for your car. 
it's easy. So, for now we're gonna do it like this. Okay, we have this, and now I want to put mm, some stickers on onto my onto my car. So we're gonna go here, running gear, whatever. Um, what we have now? We're gonna just take mm, tire. Um, you can take red button. Yeah, whatever. Or mm, here I'm gonna try. Yeah, admin, fuck it. So we take Catban and we put it uh, like here. We're just gonna put one sticker, okay? We're gonna put it here, okay? Click. Okay, we're gonna put it in the other side. Duplicate. Um, to just take it and to just move it like this. To just rotate it and to take it onto the other side. Like something like this. There you go. Okay, so you have this here. For now, I'm not gonna. Well, I can't. Yeah, we we're gonna explain how it works an alpha. So an alpha, it's easy. That's for metal details. Okay, like you have this. So I'm just okay. We're gonna go to the car, and I'm gonna take the metal detail. Okay, I'm gonna take the metal detail. On this thing, I just recommend to just export it because it's gonna be the KS or. The mod one, so it's gonna be useful for you. Um, we take it, we don't change the name, we go to close, and now just close this. We take it from our skin video folder. You have this, so we just throw it as the other one. And you do I, on this one, I just recommend to just create a new layer, disable this, and here I'm, I'm gonna put, um, yeah, something like that, like a uh, yeah, this color. So you take it and you put it, uh, you just take the fill layer, done. So this you need to save it, just, I recommend to save it in DDS because it's gonna be your actual color. If you want you can save it in PSD, if you want to have it just, if you want to work more on it. And this is the important thing, so for metal details I just recommend 8.8.8.8 um, RGB 32 PPP. This is uncompressed. This thing is gonna wait a lot, so I recommend it for personal use. If you want to release this skin, you can use. It's gonna look um, more pixelated, but I recommend the XT5 ARGB APPP Interpolated Alpha. It's also recommended for. But as I said, this is gonna be compressed, and the logos of the car they're gonna have a bit of a bit of pixels, but. For now, I'm gonna work on I was IRGB 20, 32 BPP, but you can use the XT5 IRGB the 8 BPP. It's it's also good. So we click on save, and now you're gonna see that the car has a change. So we change it the actual color of the car. But now I want the stickers, so we're gonna go to the, the skin, and now I'm just enable this if you want to see the stickers if they are um, white. Now it comes the important thing. So you're gonna do run on control click on the on this and you're gonna see that it's selected. So when you have it selected, you just go to the um, the selection one and you right click and you um, save the selection and you click in a new channel on the alpha that is gonna be called alpha one. So you need to do is on the other, do the same save selection alpha one add on the channel N don't replace it just add it add it and now we're gonna actually save the skin so save us we're gonna save it as dds because it's only two stickers just replace it don't worry we're gonna do with the 32 ppp save just save it and we're gonna, have, we're gonna have here the stickers. So this is with alpha. So what it does the alpha, you're gonna ask. What it does the alpha, it saves you the actual, like the actual trace of what you selected. So you're actually saying to the alpha, okay, I want this, but I want with this metal detail. So this is what you have. Also disable this to see the original result and you're gonna have it done so now we need to take a look on in-game we're, we're just gonna see how it looks also what you can do is just give it a preview 
if you want um, not the original KS preview or whatever, we're gonna show how to actually change it. It's just I have this. So if you want to use the KS one, you need to go to presets and just click um like go no go to options, go to um Kunos and you have you're gonna have the Kunos. So to just re-update the preview it's just instantly also, um, almost and you're gonna have the KS one and just click on generate library icon and it's gonna detect the color and just save it so now we're gonna go to the game and see how it looks um, to just make these skins I recommend to go to a Kunos track by the way because it's just, it's just a Kunos track and it's gonna look right it's gonna load more more faster so just click on go we're gonna wait a bit for to enter into the game and we're gonna see how it looks So here we are in game with our skin that we make right now and we can see that we see two things the metal -y -y color and we can see here on the side we can see the sticker that we put on the AO slash UE with the alpha method so this is how it looks with that config you can do it um, like this is more this is more made with like if you're making more than two colors on a skin like some other lines that they have some different colors or like they have or they have as we said that you can do it the other form only doing it on the on the AO not doing the metal detail thing but the metal de detail thing has an another important thing that we're gonna talk in an, in some future videos so, if you like this video, um, give a like. Um, if you want to subscribe, just subscribe. I don't, I don't have any interest on that. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestion, any question of this. Just leave it down. I'm gonna try to actually respond to that, and we're gonna see in the next one. See you later.